Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and as you can tell by the title of this video, I'd like to talk about Man of Steel once again. And uh, in this particular vein, this was kind of loosely inspired by the Fat Man on Batman, Kevin Smith's modcast, uh, which I found on YouTube. The episode's talking about, you know, Man of Steel, obviously. And he had a guest on, and both of them, you know, Smith was more for the movie. The guest was a little bit more against it, scathing in places, but mostly adhering to a middle ground of, you know, it wasn't a bad movie, but these are the things I didn't like about it, uh, or hated about it in some cases. And that's actually very surprising to me, because a lot of what I'm running into is people who are very scathing about their dislike for the movie. Um, you know, I mean, some people will just say they don't like it, some people will bang on and on and on about it, and other people, around every corner you turn, they will dog your every step to let you know, remind you that they don't care for it. Um, that does get a little trying at times when people won't let up on it, but um, one of the things that this cat was talking about, and it's a comparison I'm hearing a lot in people who didn't like Man of Steel, is that Avengers, essentially, is sitting over on the left, they got it right. Man of Steel over on the right, they didn't get it right. Um, and that's why they don't like it. It's down to the overabundance of destruction. It's down to the joylessness of Man of Steel and all of this stuff. You know, you had Avengers. It was lighthearted. It was fluffy. It was fun. I was watching Avengers. This is one of my favorite all-time comic book movies. Let me get it out of the way and say that right away. And it was a movie that I watched, and every time I do watch, I sit with a stupefied grin on my face. I absolutely enjoy the hell out of it. Why is Man of Steel a little better, in my opinion? Well, I never had one sense of dread or one sense of peril watching Avengers. And this largely goes with all the Marvel movies, really, um, with the exception of maybe, like, the first Iron Man film that really did tug at my heartstrings in places and my intellect and just excited me and stuff like that. With the exception of Agent Coulson's death, spoilers, in Avengers... It never really, you know, made me believe there was a threat to the world. I knew these heroes were going to come together and save the day. Loki, you kidding me? I mean, the Hulk wipes the floor with him. I'm supposed to take him seriously? Whereas, watching Man of Steel, maybe it's fueled by the fact that I'm a lifelong Superman fan, although I hear people saying they are and they didn't like the movie. I was seeing a tried-and-true Superman for the day. This was modern-day Earth, the way our society is, and this is an alien coming down. And he's Superman all through the movie. He's by the end of the movie, Superman. You know, the entire movie created a sense of emotion for me, created a sense of peril. It engaged thoroughly my intellectual and emotional sides, you know, to my mind and everything like that. And as the destruction was raining down, as the joylessness of his not bright colored suit and, uh, you know, the threat of all of these maniac Kryptonians coming to our world, planning on culling our entire world, the entire population of life on our planet they were going to you know basically put to dust put to death and recreate krypton on and when you see that destruction being waged in metropolis i really felt oh my god superman could lose wow the world is really in danger okay granted the giant spider thing was a little bit much but all through that movie it engaged me i was on the edge of my seat i was feeling the emotions didn't get that with the Marvel movies. And why I find this highly hilarious and ironic is because the thing I've heard all my life about Marvel Comics fans comparing them to DC and why they like Marvel better than DC is because Marvel always was more science fiction, more realistic, based in reality or spinoff of reality. And now you have the tables turned. All of the Marvel you know, movies are basically fantasy, magical, action adventures. Now you have Superman being done in a realistic way and you have a problem with it. I don't know. I, I, I'm not understanding the mental processes here. Sounds to me like uh, turn coding as far as fandom's concerned. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to post that idea, you know, I mean, what? why compare these two movies? They were both, you know, in their own universes. They don't need to be like each other and and yet you have people liking one way and not liking another way it's just like the comparison between superman returns and man of steel oh wasn't enough punching in this one too much in that one really so uh, yeah i'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below just voicing my thoughts on that as always and uh yeah i'll catch you later peace